Hello YouTube, this is Chelsea from STEM APKs. So welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue working with the uh, auto tools, the GNU auto tools. And as you recall, about two, three tutorials ago, I show you how to download AutoMake, AutoConf, uh, the Lib tool, and all of those tools that you need to create a project using the the auto the GNU auto tools. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, create an open CV project from scratch. I will show you how to do it uh, from scratch so you can create a tarball that you can share with your uh, friends and, and, and colleagues or you can uh, upload it into GitHub as a type of a open source project. So let's get started. I have the website here open for the GNU.org and they really get into detail on all the necessary information that you need to know in order to create this type of uh, projects. I will be covering uh, a basic full project. Uh, it is basic because it contains uh, all of the information that we are concerned about, which is mostly uh, OpenCV. But at the same time, it, it, it it will be missing some of the information from a full project, but you can, if you want to create, uh, you know, some type of a template that you can create later, this is where you go to in order to get some help. And there are some great books available. There's uh, Auto Tools. Uh, uh, that book is, is awesome. There's a few other uh, references out there that you can also uh, uh, read uh, about Auto Tools. But uh, right now, this is what we have. Uh, most projects, when you open a GitHub project, you're going to see uh, an open source project that they have uh, certain things in, in, in it. And one of them is uh, install, one of them is news, so one of them is readme. Uh, so I will show you how to do that because right now, this is command. I'm going to be creating these files. It's going to create an author's file, a copying file, an install file, a news file, and so on. There's nothing going to be in it. I'm just creating them inside the directory. My directory is this one right here. So I'm just going to hit enter. And now you can see that they are all created. You can populate them as, as, as you wish. You can put anything you want inside of them. Right now, they have nothing inside. But in a typical project, then you can put any relevant information about the project. The two files that were there before are this, this file right here, make file AM, and the SRC directory. If we go here, into this, uh, into their website, the GNU.org website, they explain very thorough, and in, in other places also, what a Makefile AM file is, and how to create one. This is exactly what I did here. This is a, a Makefile AM. Actually, I don't have it like this. I have it outside of the source directory, uh, but uh, I will explain to you why. Uh, but basically, a make file contains very similar information, and this is another file that you need. This is a configure AC file, and I'll show you how to create one. But right now, we only have the make file, and inside we have the SRC directory. So now let's do a, a command that is an auto scan command. That command will create a file uh, called configure.scan command. We can use that file to give us uh, more or less uh, a little bit of a template, so something to, to go by and make our lives easier as we create that configure.ac. So we go auto scan. And you're going to see right now it threw a, a warning. It's not an error, it's a warning that 
the unescape left brace is deprecated, so it will become an error more likely in future versions. For, but for now, it's just a warning. It's not an error. But it, as you can see, it created these two files. It created an auto scan log, and it also cre created this configure that scan file. And that's exactly what we were looking for. So when we go inside the nano configure scan, we see that we have the beginnings of this guy right here. As you can see, it already it knows what my source file is. It already is starting to let me know what I need to do and just follow that format. Okay, so this is one way to do it. You just go Control K, Control K, Control K, and erase those. And then you can here you can put uh, your prerequisite or what uh, was the least. Uh, the lowest version that you can use here you can put your package name your full, full package name in my case it will be that and then your version number and zero point let's go play, zero one and the bug report address and so on I'm not gonna go through the whole thing here because I don't wanna take the time to type it, but I already created one. So I'm gonna show you the one that I created. It's this one right here. And where is it? Wrong desktop. Uh, which one is it? This is the one copy actually let's just copy and paste uh, copy and paste right on it so i'm just i don't want to take the time to type it while you see me type so i'm just going to um erase this one and just go paste and it has all of the information that the other one has. But here it has everything that I was doing it, but here now I you have my information and it's not Paco anymore. This is a different version. I have created different ones. And there I go. The config source directory is the same. Config age. Okay, I, I will explain to you as I go down. Let's 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 uh spend a little bit of time here in this directory. As you can see, this and this is very similar. I got a little bit more information, but uh you can be as basic as that, or you can go even more complex than what I have here. What I have here is a autoconf initiate. Okay, so it will initiate autoconf, and it's telling the name of the package, the the version that is required, the flags for automake, foreign. If you well, these are just standard flags. But this one, if you don't know what that is, just go here and you'll find out what that is. Um, these are files that are going to be generated by autoconf. It's going to be a make file, generic make file that you've seen a million times. Where they can find the path to the source directory, to the source file. Where the headers are, configuration headers are. But the most importantly, the C++ compiler, checking for the libraries to make sure that I have them, CC, glib, and also, of course, OpenCV, making sure the modules are, is, I'm using version 2.49, you can put whatever version you are using right here. C flags for OpenCV, 
uh, lips, uh, lip flags for OpenCV. Uh, debug, you don't have to do this. I just put that in there and then the output. And then you can add a lot more into the output in our, maybe in another tutorial, I'll show you, you know, you can get really creative on the output and make it look really nice. Okay. But this is a very basic, uh, configure AC file. It is still not called configure AC. So we're going to save it. And now it's this guy right here, but now we're going to change the name to, of it. We're going to go move configure and then configure instead of scan, we're going to call it configure AC. And now you have your configure AC file. And now you pretty much ready to start making some creative, uh, creative things now, because now you have your configure AC file, which you can start using to configure the rest of your project. But before we get there, let's do this. What I'm going to do is, uh, let me show you the make file. And the make file has information that is related. This is a very basic AM file. This is done recursive. Uh, I am not making make files that AM inside of each directory. I'm trying to keep it simple. Maybe in another tutorial, I will show you how to do it recursively. Uh, from what I hear, uh, the, the, what they, most people are doing non recursive right now, but it's, you know, you find people saying recursive is better, non-recursive. I'll show you both. So you, you, you choose which one you want to use. But right now I'm only working with one AM file inside the source directory and not inside the parent directory, the top directory, not in the other directories. It's a lot simpler to, uh, to get used to it as, uh, as, you know, when you're first exposed to this. So this is the auto make uh, C preprocessor flags, tab source directory, the name of your binaries, what sources is your binary going to use, you telling them where to find it. And most importantly, right here, you got your preprocessor flag, C preprocessor -pre flags, for the, your binary, your C++ flags for your binary, and your libraries for your binary. Okay, very important uh, little three lines there. So now you, we can close here, and now we're ready to start. So the first thing that you know, you do, you don't have to. A lot of people don't do this. I like to do auto reconf. And let me just show you these while we do it. So you see it being populated and you got YouTube and then you got a uh, token CV tools project and you have Pazzo. And you're going to see this little, uh, you're going to see it as things are created. So let's do the first thing that I like to do when I'm working with auto tools. I like to do this auto reconf uh, dash verbose I. And what this, this does is uh, auto reconfigure, but it also installs some of the things that you may be missing, things that it thinks that you need. Uh, you might need them, you might not, but uh, this will install them for you. And you're going to see them created as, as I do it. So you do auto recon VI and it's telling you it's entering and you can see them being created as we go. So it created the, uh, the autumn here. It created the macros directory here. It created this, uh, auto scan. I believe that was there before. I don't know, but it could, it, it built this one. It created that one. It created your configure. It created this guy, it created your installed shell script and your make file in missing 
All of those things were created by this, and it's telling you here. That's why I use the V. So it's telling you us is going what is doing. So you can see those things are being created. So now if I look inside, you can see the things, the same things are here. Nothing new. Okay. Now you're ready. Being that it created this guy right here, now you're ready to configure. So you can go configure. And now it's going to configure everything. Oops. I'm so used to building in a separate build directory that I always do two dots. It's one dot because it's in the same parent directory. So just go configure. And it's doing something that is very important to pay attention to. It's finding, you know, threads. Is a thread safe? Some GNU related stuff your compilers, but most importantly, is checking for the libraries. That's what we did in that in those lines in the uh, configure AC, and it's checking that it's uh, for OpenCV and for CGLib, and also creating the config status, creating a make file. Without that make file, there's nothing you can do. This is what you can use make with. So if you don't have that, there's nothing you can do. And also, it's creating that config.h that I spoke to you about that was on my source file. So now, let's clear this because some of the clutter out. And now we're ready to make. So, as you can see in your configure, before I hit make, I want to show you this. Because you do have a choice how you do it. The way I have it right now, uh, actually, it's wrong one. It's in the make file. Whoops, that's not the, that make file, the other make file. This guy. Right now, I have it creating an executor right in the parent directory. But you can put that anywhere you want. You can build anywhere you want as long as you let them know here where you're where you right now it's a very simple program it's not that clutter so i'm keeping it simple so i'm creating it the executable is going to be right here so you're going to see it appear right here and it's going to be named i named that executable so we can recognize it right away so now we go uh ls so you see it and then you go make and now, as you can see, it's compiling. And now, here, here is just doing the C flags. Here is doing the libraries and the linker. Okay. And most of this stuff, usually when you use an IDE, is happening in the in the background. You don't see it, but here. You can see it, and now, if we look, we can see that there is an executable. And if we check inside the SRC file directory, I'm sorry, we can see that the object file has been created. So now we're ready to go, and we just go executable. And it's going to throw an error because it's telling me how to use it. So the image, remember, is not in this directory right here. It's in the source directory. So I got to, let me push this here a little bit better. It's in the source directory right there. So I got to tell the system, the executable, where it is. So I'm going to go executable. SRC and then happy because that's the name of the JPEG image. And now it's going to execute and it's going to show me the image that I have. 
And now, most importantly, you have done this part, but also you can now, if you're happy with what you have, then you do a this check. And it's going to create a tarball that you can share with your friends, with your colleagues, or you can also send it and it will be created right there. And everything that we did there is inside that. And this is the end of this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and follow me on GitHub and Twitter and have a great day and thanks for watching.